Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at MetaShoot. So in a nutshell, MetaShoot is a plugin that comes with different lighting presets that allows you to render without having to create level sequences or messing around with the movie render queue. I mean, one can just install this plugin, import some assets in, and render without really knowing much about Unreal. Now, that being said, let me show you a little bit on how this works. Okay, so here we are in the MetaShoot Demo 01. I set up my two panes. If you don't know how to do that, just go right here, Layouts, and then 2. And then next what we'll do is we'll go to Windows, and then we'll turn on the MetaShoot. It's going to ask you to log in, but I already logged in to save some time. Kind of move this to the right. So the first thing we're going to take a look at in here is the Assets window. So I'll click on that right now. And this is going to let you add more lights into your scene if you want to which is pretty cool. If you're like new to photography or videography or you just want to practice lighting, I think this is a pretty easy way to do it because you can just drag and drop lights and, you know, backdrops and so on and so forth and you're pretty much good to go. And these are actually pretty much standard. You got soft boxes, you have some, you know, this one's an octagon, you got some light ones, ring lights. So it's pretty accurate to what you're going to be using in the real world as well. So I'll just delete that in there. And on the right side of that is the studio. This is pretty powerful here. Like I said, they have some presets in here. So you can just really click it. And it's cool because with one click, you can actually change your scene, which is pretty nuts. I really like this. As y'all know, I like red and blue. I like this one right here. So I do have a model that I imported here. And let's delete this one. This is just the sample one that they have. That's just the reference sample I imported one of my cyberpunk Zen cops in here, drag and drop her into the scene on this resetter and rotator 90. So she's looking straight at the camera and we'll go to the green screen right here. So you can see it a little bit better. So in the middle of the scene, you can see two icons. This one right here is going to be your target. Think about it like a, you know, focus assist. So I'll just put that right in front of our character right here. And there's already a camera in the scene. I'm not sure if you can see it right here. And I can just actually swap over to that view right here. And I can adjust that settings too, if I want to, by just going to the right side. And let's just say I want an 85 mil. And I'll move that target now, just down so that we're filling that frame a little bit better. Pretty dope. And then next, what I'm going to do is, you can see there's actually a turntable down here. So if I wanted to, I can parent my character to that turntable. And if I now render or just simulate, you're gonna see that my character is now simulating. Now I'll click on this viewport so you can see it. It's pretty darn dope. And honestly, that's pretty much it for the actual video. If you just want to like render this out, just go to the settings and you don't have to open up MRQ, it's already built in, which again, is super easy. You can change the duration and frames in here. You can get the actual animation from the turntable. So if you want it spinning, you can do that, or you can turn that off if you just want to render frames. Uh, we're just going to render this still right now in like path trace. In the output path, this is defaulted to the saved movie renders in your project folder, but you can obviously just change that if you want to. You can give it a title if you want. So let's put in ZPD in here, change the resolution up to 4K, but if you want 8K, you can do custom. Change the quality of the render, which is pretty helpful right here. Additionally, if you want it custom, you can set the spatial and temporal right here, but I'll just set it to ultra high. So that's going to give you, I think, 512 samples. And we'll render this in Path Tracer Render, which is cool. Additionally, you can click a PNG, JPEG, or EXR. For this video, I will just set it to PNG, which is good. Motion blur is turned off by default, which is beautiful. The noiser is on. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, which is freaking nice. And whenever you're done here, all you have to do is render this. And it's going to open up the renderer already. And it's going to compile shaders, obviously. Well, it doesn't like compiling shaders. Okay, it is finished rendering. So we'll go to that folder. And as you can see right here, we have the final image and we have the path trace version, which looks amazing. But that's pretty much it. That is how you use MetaShoot by Vinci. All right. Hope you all learned something new today. I'll see y'all next one. Peace out.